Well, hello, Smoky Valley patrons. The district is announcing a change in COVID protocol for grades seven through 12, beginning immediately. Tomorrow, Thursday, January 13th through Friday, the 21st of next week, all students in grades seven through 12 must wear a face covering. That's through the end of next week. The local hospitals are full. The county has a record high with cases. And right now, um, they reported yesterday 479 active cases in McPherson County. And the school's not able to keep up with contact tracing with our two nurses. So many of your children may have very well been exposed without even being aware of it. We are becoming overwhelmed with illness, especially at the secondary level. I guarantee you that there are many more close contacts, but we just can't keep up with all the contact tracing at this time. I strongly urge all students to wear a mask in all public locations, not just at school. The Omicron variant, it, it's all around us and it's extremely contagious. We are canceling the middle school basketball game tomorrow night at home against Pratt. The girls team is greatly affected much more than the boys at this time, but we felt it was important to slow down the spread before it became much worse. If your child is feeling ill, please keep them at home. That goes for all students and staff as well. KDHE, CDC, and the McPherson County Health Department have changed our standard protocol. They have actually decreased the number of days individuals must remain in quarantine. Our new flow chart is not posted yet. We're still working on that, but for now, please consult with one of our nurses because the individual cases are all different. Our flow chart is a little bit different than the county's because we modify quarantine, which means we bring kids into school um, in a modified effect rather than keeping, keeping them at home if they're close contact. You might want to keep your eye on our dashboard at covid.smokyvalley.org to see our case numbers. We'll do our best to keep that updated. If your child is fully vaccinated, they're in a much better position to remain in school. Remember all students and all staff, grades seven through 12, wear a mask beginning tomorrow through all of next week in an effort to reduce the spread and the number of positive cases, actually. We never wanna to return to remote learning. We had too much of that a year ago. So we thank you for your support as we all work together to keep our kids in school and safe. Thank you.